The Doctor is definitely a very different story. And this is the second Lisa Stone book I've read. Lisa Stone is, of course, the pseudonym uh, of Kathy Glass. And this is not the kind of story I'd expected from Kathy Glass. Well, from Lisa Stone. This is the second book I've read of hers. And the first one was about a missing child, which is what I expected, given that she is a foster carer. She's written many, many foster care memoirs. This one completely different but actually I'm glad I had a reason to read this because I don't think that this is one I'd pay attention to if I wasn't aware of the author or if it hadn't been recommended to me or anything because I don't think it sounded like my kind of story but actually I, I quite enjoyed it. What I will say before I get in with any further is that I did read some reviews online after I read it and some people, quite a few people, are describing it as far-fetched and I do have to agree with that but I don't mind that. But that's just worth bearing in mind that if you're going to read this there are some things where you maybe need to suspend disbelief but if you are willing or able to do that with this particular story then I think it's quite gripping and certainly unpredictable. It's about a doctor, believe it or not, and his obsession with cryogenically freezing his wife. His wife has a, a chronic condition, uh, a terminally ill condition, and he is obsessed with uh, this idea of freezing her and then obviously finding a cure and bringing her back to life. However, he's not doing this out of love. We learn pretty quickly that this is something he is obsessed with because he wants to make a name for himself. We also learn at the very beginning that his wife is completely against this, but he is determined to see it through. And needless to say, he is not a nice person. He, uh, Dr. Berman, he is not a nice individual. And I will say he is one of the best written antagonists I've ever read. I detested him. I hated him. He has a pretty decent backstory. And he is a very well-written character. And he just made me feel sick. He is horrible. So if you like strong antagonists, I think you'll, uh, you will, well, you'll hate Dr. Berman, but for all of the right reasons. The actual concept I'm not that interested in I don't care about cryogenically freezing people I know some people find it a really interesting concept I don't but within the context of the narrative I was keen to find out what would happen because he was so determined that this was what was going to happen his wife definitely against it but without going into too much detail I will say he doesn't treat his wife well and that's putting it mildly. I don't want to explain it too much, but I guess that needs to be a bit of a trigger warning that if you are sensitive to stories where there is domestic abuse, then it might not be for you. But I don't want to go into too much detail and spoil it, but that's something that comes up quite heavily. We also have uh, another character, a next door neighbor called Emily, who we don't get to know that much about, to be perfectly honest. All we really learn is that she's on extended maternity leave to look after her little boy. And she's curious about the next door neighbors and wants to make friends with the wife, a woman called Alicia. But that's not the easiest thing to do, given how controlling Dr. Berman is. And I will say no more. I don't want to give away any more than that because I do recommend it. It's a very interesting story because it's different to anything I've read before. I, I can't think of any story I've read that focuses on cryogenics. And that means for me it was a, a slightly different experience. And, and I rather enjoyed that part of it. The characters are very well written. The, the narrative flows really well. The pacing is great. It's very gripping. There are a couple of teeny typing errors here and there in the ebook version, but nothing that would ever make me say it's badly edited or written or published. It's actually very well done, and I was pretty impressed with the, the quality of the publication. The only thing I didn't love is the ending, and I won't explain why, but I will say it didn't spoil my enjoyment of the book. It's not one of those endings where... You know, you read this amazing book and then you get to the end and it just is ridiculous or un unexpected or just doesn't make any sense and you just get so annoyed because it's ruined an otherwise good book. It's not like that at all. It's just something I don't personally agree with. I don't think that's the way it should have went. But I am literally talking about like the last two pages. I don't mean the last few chapters or anything. So I would recommend it. 
The Doctor, as I said, is the second Lisa Stone book I've read and it's, it's not going to be the last. Because I now know that her books are not necessarily about missing or abused or abandoned children or whatever, as I had perhaps expected, given they're also written by Kathy Glass, I now know that things might be a bit unpredictable with the rest of her books. And I'm kind of, kind of looking forward to that. But for now, I'm happy to have read The Doctor. I don't think it's going to be for everybody. But if it sounds like your kind of story, then I definitely recommend it.